Akio Toyota, the former CEO of the world's largest car maker, was criticized for his cautious approach to full electrification. But guess what? He has had the last laugh now, as electric vehicles have hit a major speed bump. Now, other manufacturers are counting their losses in billions, and Toyota is having its I told you so moment. Here are six reasons why Toyota continues to gain while others falter. Number six, rapid electrification plan failed. You might have heard that Biden's team hoped to switch to electric cars fast and easily. The EPA even had a plan to make car emissions rules stricter so that by 2032, two thirds of new cars would be electric. But when they saw that electric car sales were almost stopping, they knew they had to change their plan and deal with the new situation. The workers' union, UAW, worried about many people losing their jobs as people didn't want to buy electric vehicles because they were expensive and not very reliable. The plan was made without looking carefully at the market, so it was going to fail. The situation changed a lot, showing that a new plan was necessary. Now, what do they do? The EPA decided to make a new plan. This time, the rules about emissions are not as strict, and they're thinking that by 2032, only about one-third of new cars will be electric or partly electric. They're using the word electrified to mean cars that run on electricity or a mix of electricity and gas. Another big thing is that pickup trucks can keep using gas and diesel for a really long time. This shows that electric pickup trucks still aren't as good as the ones that run on gas or diesel. Now, before we continue, if you're enjoying this video, do well to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to show your support. If you've done that, let's continue. Number five, the rise of hybrids. Hybrids are a good choice for people who aren't ready for electric cars, but still want to help the environment and save on fuel. They use both gas and electric power, so drivers don't have to worry about running out of power like they do with electric cars. Plus, hybrids often get tax breaks and other help from the government to make them more appealing. Hybrid technology has gotten better and cheaper, so more people can't afford them. Car companies keep making hybrids better, so they work smoothly and use less fuel. Now, hybrids aren't seen as a second choice, but as reliable and fuel-efficient options compared to regular cars. This change in thinking has made hybrids more popular, as more people see the advantages they offer for both performance and the environment. Hybrids are really good for the environment because they don't make as much pollution as regular cars. Plus, you don't have to worry about how far you can drive or finding a place to charge them like you do with electric cars. Also, hybrids are usually cheaper to buy, and Toyota makes some really good ones that don't break down a lot and don't cost too much to run. Because of all these reasons, it makes sense that big car companies like GM and Ford are making more hybrids to sell in the United States. They've spent a lot of money on electric cars that didn't work out, so hybrids seem like a better option for them now. At number four, bad EV strategy. The main reason why electric cars haven't caught on quickly is because governments have been focusing more on making rules than on what people actually want. Instead of thinking about what customers and car sellers need, they've been pushing electric cars really hard. This means people have had to pay more for electric cars without getting many benefits in return. Also, because car companies are spending a lot of money on electric cars, regular cars have become more expensive too. This has made automakers scramble to fund new EV investments. Despite efforts, electric cars aren't making car companies much money. According to new reports, car makers lose about $6,000 on each electric car they sell. Toyota decided not to join in on this risky business. They've said many times that they'd rather pay fines for not being green enough than spend money on something that might not work out. Toyota's plan for electric cars focuses more on what people want to buy and what car sellers want to sell, not just following the rules. Recently, Toyota is feeling pretty good about its decisions. They stayed true to what they believed in and showed everyone who doubted them that they were wrong. The government is starting to realize that maybe pushing electric cars so hard wasn't the best idea, especially after seeing big American car companies like Ford and GM lose a lot of money and put off their electric car plans. 
Toyota's ability to see ahead and focus on what car customers want has once again turned out to be the best way to go. Number 3. Toyota's Record-Breaking Profit Even though being environmentally friendly is a good thing, it's important for car companies to make money, too. They need plans that can keep them going for a long time, and trying to switch to electric cars too quickly hasn't worked out well. Just look at what happened to GM and Ford. They thought electric cars were the future and spent a lot of money on them, but they ended up losing a ton of money instead. Take Ford, for example. They had a really big loss of $5 billion because of electric cars in 2023. It was so bad that they had to stop making the F-150 Lightning and put off spending $12 billion they were going to use this year. Then there's GM. They had to push back making the all-electric Silverado and Sierra trucks until 2025. But Toyota is doing great because they made smart investments. They're seeing the benefits now. Instead of spending lots of money on electric cars that aren't quite ready yet, Toyota worked on making their hybrids even better. They sold a whole 11.2 million cars last year, which is really impressive. Unlike electric cars, hybrids make Toyota a lot of money. They made $27 billion in just nine months, from April till the end of 2023. That's almost twice as much as they made during the same time in 2022. Just to give you an idea, Tesla made a profit of $15 billion last year, which was a 19% increase. So Toyota is basically making more profit than the EV giant. Number two, immaturity of EV technology. Toyota's leaders like Akio Toyota thought electric cars tech weren't ready for everyone yet. They thought electric cars needed more time to be just right and couldn't promise to have zero pollution right now. Turns out they were right. Electric cars still can't do everything most people need them to. They cost a lot, but the average price being between $55,000 and $60,000 in 2023. Plus, with interest rates being high, fewer people buying cars, it's even harder. Electric cars still have a lot of problems compared to cars that run on gas. They're not as easy to use, they cost a lot, and sometimes they don't even work right. That's why a recent survey by the Boston Consulting Group found that only 40% of people would consider buying an electric car. Now, here is the thing. Even among those who are willing to consider buying an electric car, their expectations are pretty high, and most car companies can't meet them yet. They want an electric car that costs around $50,000, can go at least 300 miles on one charge, and can recharge in just 20 minutes. Right now, there's only one electric car on the market that ticks all of these boxes. This shows that electric car technology still has a way to go before it's good enough for everyday people to use. It'll probably be many more years before regular people start buying electric cars in big numbers. This highlights the need for further development and refinement in EV technology. Number 1. Power of Diversification Even though Toyota likes to play it safe, they've never said no to electric cars. They just don't like the idea of saying there's only one way to have zero pollution, which is by using battery electric cars. Toyota thinks there are different ways to get to zero pollution and may be more environmentally friendly, not just with electric cars. The people who run Toyota keep saying that it's the customers who should pick what's right for them. Akio Toyota and the others in charge think that having all cars electric is just not possible. They really believe that electric cars will only be about one-third of all the cars people drive around the world. That's why Toyota spends a lot of money on other ways to make cars, not just electric ones. While hybrids are currently leading the pack, Toyota has demonstrated its ability to design a hydrogen fuel cell vehicle. The company has also developed an internal combustion engine that runs on hydrogen, which is currently being tested in various endurance races. Recently, Toyota developed an engine that operates on liquid ammonia, suggesting that the Japanese automaker has several tricks up its sleeve to maintain its position as a global leader. All right, we've come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and let us know your thoughts in the comments section. 
We'll see you in the next video.